No eBay, no Amazon, more money. One of the things that I'm doing, and I started this this year, is I am recommending that my clients don't use eBay, Amazon, and I'm going to explain a few things for you. One, Amazon's awesome. Love Amazon, represents an awesome, awesome opportunity. However, I want you to listen to me. I've been selling on eBay, Amazon, frickin' since 2000. Well, actually 2000 to 2009. And actually 2000 to 2006, then outsourced. But I've seen a lot with the platforms. And this is what's happening. Due to the economy being so bad, you have so many people who are... running to the platforms who are going to the platforms who are who are trying to sell stuff and the reason i'm doing this video real quick is someone that put in their stuff about listing sourcing i understand that's how this channel got started i understand that's what i used to do for a very very long time and what i want you to do is to get away from that because what's happening is you are competing with just as many people on ebay and amazon as you're out here getting to get a job and that's the problem. You have all of this racing down to the bottom based on price. Hey, I got some for a dollar, so you know, yeah, it used to sell for a hundred. Well, let's do it at eighty. Well, let's do it at seventy. Let's do it at fifty. You know, if you can get those rare things that you know everyone can't find, you could still really make some money. But that's going to become harder and harder and harder. But what's more palatable to me is creating your own. Thing, whatever that may be, creating your own thing, creating um, a product. Say you're plugged into Amazon, right? And you're plugged into eBay and you go out and create your own product. Something, let's just go ahead and throw a high number out there. Say it costs you a hundred bucks to per item to make this thing, but you can sell it for five, six hundred dollars. If you sell 10 a month, you have an outgo of $1,000 in product costs and then fees and whatnot. But you're going to net out at, you know, 4000 no, let's say 3500 to 2500 bucks, Just off 10 sales. You have people who are out every weekend, uh, every day at uh, thrift stores. They, they're not making that per quarter. <laughs> they're not making that per quarter. And it's just really, really what I, I'm trying to push people because... The when you know I'm putting together two things: Hustler University, join it is free. Hustler University Life. That's going to be the paid courses, and they're not going to be on Facebook. It's going to be somewhere else, because what I'm seeing is people are seduced by the promise of the eBay or Amazon millionaire. And yes, there are some. Uh, there's I think, but what's funny, there are more of them in Australia than here. Uh, because in Australia, everything's imported, so they have to really, really be on top of their game to do stuff. Whereas here in America, honestly, I think <clears throat> many of us are just so used to these things being so easy that, hey, I throw some stuff up on Amazon. And, you know, like I said, Amazon's a great opportunity. <clears throat> the, the reason that I am not pushing Amazon, which is a great opportunity, is it makes you intellectually lazy i have to say that very clearly because if you're hustling on ebay you're hustling on amazon and you're consistently getting sales monthly you're not lazy because if you were lazy it wouldn't happen but you're intellectually lazy and you're getting addicted to the third party platform where the only way that you're going to get kicked off off that drug is to get kicked off the platform and that's one of the things that happened because when it happened to us you know, based on my sales training, based on my background, I never just said, oh, OK, these sales on eBay are enough. I was always pushing, always trying to do stuff. I mean, we had in-store sales. We had private list sales. So when the big kahunka happened and we got kicked off, our cash was cut, but it wasn't shut off. There are many people who are selling on eBay and Amazon that if the, they get kicked off, all their cash is cut off. Everything. I mean, they're like a boat in the middle of the ocean with no engine, no rudder. Whatever happens is happens. And usually it's going to get turbulent. That storm's going to come and the boat's going to crash against the rocks. 
And that's what's happening. Another reason that I am pushing people to starting their own thing is the opportunity. The opportunities that are available now are sick. The things you can do, the things you can build, the things you can create, the things you can just start doing and making money. Like, it's just, it's, it's sick. But if you are addicted to that third party platform that I can give you the keys to the universe and I'm going to explain a few things toward the end of the video and people are still kind of going to go back to eBay and Amazon. Let me just, you know, give you a brief history of when I was in the storage auction business and how we sold stuff. We used eBay. We used Craigslist. Now I don't hear a lot of talk about Craigslist. I hear eBay, Amazon, oh Craigslist. I have two Craigslist books. Currently I'm working on a Craigslist course. Craigslist is freaking awesome. <clears throat> but Craigslist requires work. Craigslist requires interpersonal skills, the ability to talk to people, the ability to deal with people, the ability to brush off rejection and all crazy folks. I was like, oh Craigslist is horrible. All these bad things are happening on Craigslist, blah blah. Craigslist is awesome. So with our resale matrix, Craigslist was a heavy part of it because we can move the washer and dryers. We can move the sofa sets. I mean, I'll just give it to you. We would have like a robust uh, eBay weekend, like Sundays around 6 p.m. That used to be the hot night. I don't know if it's still hot. And I'll sit there, and, you know, I'll see 600, 700, something like a really good burner of a night, $2,000 sales in one day. And that, and that's say that packing all that stuff up. But on the flip side, I have seen two and three thousand dollars worth of sales in an hour in the warehouse. And you, you got to really look at that because, you know, I put this in my books, making money A to Z with self storage and auctions that people buy predicated on their infrastructure and eBay and Amazon give you the mental infrastructure to just get small shit. I'm not going to get anything big. And this is one of the things. And this is something that is in 30 days to 2,500 bucks about how to get bigger stuff. And people ignore that. It's like, I'm not messing with the big stuff. That's too hard to deal with. I have sold one thing and made more money in a few minutes than some of you make all month long, busting your ass off. Now, the thing is, what if you have a mix? And this is one of the things that, you know, you just don't see with the third party platform. Because everyone, I've watched the haul videos, I watch stuff, it's always small shit you can ship. I don't see anybody talking about like a, a motorcycle. I don't see anybody talking about a tractor. Or, you know, before they changed the rules, we used to get cars and storage units all the time. Cars. Cars and motorcycles. And you have to sell them. Figure out ways to sell them. Hey, you know, the vehicle has a lien on it. Okay, park that bitch out. <laughs> We're parted out in the heartbeat. Can't sell the car and get the title. You can sell the tires. You can sell the rim. You can sell the engine. You can sell the exhaust system. You can sell the doors. Especially if it's a popular car because there's a demand for those parts. You can sell a sunroof mechanism. You can sell a battery. A, I mean, I put up, I got a Maxima. I got a 2001 Maxima. And I, it had a lien on it, couldn't do anything with it. I put an ad on Craigslist because it was costing me money to hold on to it. And I said, look, this is the deal. I bought this, blah, blah, blah. I got this here, blah, blah, blah. Cannot drive it, you cannot title it, but I will sell it to you for parts. This salvage yard calls me up, someone had wrecked that same car, and they bought that thing for 4,200 bucks. The unit cost me $400. And that was, the car was in there and other equipment. So. And I just told him straight up. I didn't like, oh, no, you could no. And the guy said, oh, I know what to do with this. <laughs> Came with his truck, put it on his flatbed truck, and went off of it and just <laughs> counted out that cash. And this is one of the things that I think it makes it really challenging for a lot of you to leave these platforms is you just, like I said, you're addicted to them. It is like some of the best pussy in the world. You know that bitch is crazy, but you just can't leave her. And it's just like, I, I, I've screened it from the mountaintops. I did not one, not two, but three videos last year of what eBay was going to do, and I was not wrong. That's like, they were getting rid of sellers. I said, guess what? There's going to come again. Bam, they got rid of another group, another group. And it's to the point where it's happened so often that people don't talk about it, but they're still doing it. And people are like, well, they're just getting rid of the bad sellers. 
uh, I know some people from groups they got rid of, and I'm gonna just take a step out on there because uh, yeah, I never met these people, but just over the years of seeing what they posted, I think they got screwed. My thoughts, and you don't have to be like ridiculously bad. That's the thing. You could be, you can make a few mistakes, or you can ship slow, and you know you do it too many times. See ya. <laughs> I was like, okay, and also that brings up another point of why. You got to get away from these platforms. You know, I hear this thing about, you know, Warren Buffett said, you know, put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. Well, this is the thing that I don't think you're understanding Warren's uh, comment in the right context. Warren had all of his eggs in the basket, but Warren also owned the basket. You don't own shit on eBay. You don't control shit. You don't dictate policy. You don't make any decisions. Warren got to do all of that stuff. Warren was on the board of Rex. Warren said, hey, you know, we need to do this. People listened and took action. You can scream. You can call up eBay. You can whip the Donahue. And they're like, we're still not going to listen to you, bitch. I've seen too many. E I mean, I got something the other day about it. I haven't responded to it because, like I said, I don't fuck with eBay. I don't fuck with eBay. And like I said, uh, I have put out three new books this year. I put one on Amazon, but like I said, I'm not promoting Amazon. If someone like Googles me and find that book on Amazon and buys it, excellent, cool, that's a win. But I'm not going to put any marketing efforts or anything toward that stuff on Amazon. I'm not helping them. <laughs> I'm not. And that kind of comes from the mindset of you can build something of your own. There are many of you out there that don't think you can do anything without eBay or Amazon. Look here i mean this youtube channel and this is this is another thing it's like yeah you know but you've been doing it for five years i had to start somewhere that's what many of you get just really just for just refuse to accept yeah you do your youtube channel uh youtube is different than it was in 2009 yep uh storage auctions today were different than when i got in in 2000 yep everything is different the game changes boo fucking who I mean, I, I'm not crying that I, I missed out on Vine or I, it's just like, hey, it was there. I didn't get on it. Oh, well, let me work on this. Work on this. Learn to how learn how to be creative. Learn how to think in a creative manner. Learn how to push your agenda, because, you know, there's days you don't want, you know, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to go out there and hustle. Uh, but one of the things I learned this year, there, there's been uh, many days I didn't want to go to the gym. And there was the, some of those days that turned out to be some of the best gym days I've had because I keep a log and I look back and I'm just like, I go in there and it's like the mind wasn't there, but the body was like, I'm good. And that's where you are with this thing. Mentally, you are eBay. Mentally, you are Amazon. And you have the talent, the skills, the products to sell stuff other place. And you're not going to get that. Ooh, you know, I put some up and it sold in three hours. Ooh, I will say from having a furniture website. And once again, I admit, I got in early. There weren't that many furniture sites. Uh, I put some up and that sucker sold in like a 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Apparently they were looking for that item. You can build your own website and I implore and I urge you, even if you are stuck on the eBay titty, if you're stuck on the Amazon titty, if you're stuck on all of this stuff, that you at least devote some time to building something that is yours. Something that's yours. I mean, if it's yours, you just so many opportunities will come to you from creating your own thing. Well, look at Pat Flynn with Smart Passive Income. His, he started off with an ebook. He started off with an ebook, uh, the, the lead certification course, because he was an architect. He started off with an ebook, turned into an audiobook, turned that into more money than he was making when he got had the job he got laid off from. And I'm thinking he's probably close to, uh, he'll probably make close to seven figures, if not kicks it in the ass this year. He started off from nothing. He didn't have anything. He didn't have anything. He started off, he's got the podcast, and he steadily built it. And this this is, let me just say it again. Yes, you, you come off eBay, and yeah, you know, you're not going to have the same impact that you can have on eBay. But you need to start backing the fuck up from eBay and Amazon. You really do. Uh, everyone that I know that's in the e-commerce that's making money, and when I'm going to say making money, is seven figures. Gross. They are... They have their own thing. 
They may sell some of their stuff on eBay and Amazon, but the majority of them have their own thing. I'm quite sure there's going to be some exceptions. Someone's going to come in. I know Billy Joe Ray Bob, and he's been on eBay since 1997. And he does a million a year. And he sells gold rabbits. Okay. Next. And he'll be like, I got nothing. Because it's not that many. It's not that many. Just Google. Just go here on YouTube. And just go through the number of people who are uh, sucking ass on eBay. I guarantee you, you're going to see more videos about how this shit ain't working than you will see videos about how this shit's the bomb. You will see more of that. Uh, most of the videos about eBay are, I fucking hate eBay, I can't stand it, scammers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's some people, uh, there's one guy, he sells hubcaps, uh, but he has a physical store. He sells stuff on eBay, but he sells stuff in other places. So what I'm telling you is, back the fuck up from eBay. Back the fuck up from Amazon. And once again, go on Amazon. You'll see, go, go, to my, go to Gumroad and go to Amazon and see how many of those things are actually on Amazon right now. At some point, they will be, but I'm not in no hurry to put them up there because I make more money uh, doing it from my posture. And I'm trying to tell you, yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah, it's, I, I remember, you know, I'll just, you know, the first year, most of that money came in the last five months. <laughs> but I built up to that. I really built up to that. And that that's the thing. So no eBay, no Amazon and more money that you get to own. I mean, if you want to use eBay as a uh, springboard into something else, that's cool. But if you have not mentally set your mind that, you know, someday that you and eBay are going to part, part ways, because, you know, I saw someone uh, close to like 90,000 feedback, which is probably 200 and some thousand transactions. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, can you retire on that? Probably not. Are you going to hang your hat on it? Nope. They don't even send you any certificates. They used to send you like nice certificates, nice feel-good certificates that you can hang up on the wall and people come up like, oh, you're doing something really good cool on eBay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you do that stuff, right? And um, it, that's just not happening. That is just really, really not happening. So I want you to really, really think about this. Um, where I'm going is sure there'll be some hustling craigslist stuff there'll be uh how to sell shit there there will be but it's not going to be dealing with ebay and amazon i'll just periodically just remind people because the thing is ebay and amazon are fundamentally more difficult than they ever been before i used to be able to buy a unit nothing spectacular take the whole unit Put everything, bullshit or not, you know, take 400 pieces in the unit, 500 pieces is actually in the book, you know, how to make money A to Z with self-storage and auctions. List everything, just go hog wild, list the shit. And just due to the aggregate, you know, some stuff would go for 99 cents. But hey, here's this one item that went for 100 bucks. Here's this other item. I don't know how many times it had, because it, it drove my partner crazy, because you'd be watching it, it's like 99 cent, 99 cent, 99 cent. And a lot of stuff would be going for 99 cent. Then bam, this went for $30. Then bam, this went for $50. And bam, this went for $100. And then this went for 25 And I don't know how many of those units I bought for 10 freaking dollars. And then listed everything up there, you know, 200, 300, 400 pieces that made 600 to two to three grand. That's why I bought all of those fucking junk units. Because I, I had a plan. I had a place to put them. And then when that calmed down, because eBay changed the game. They changed the game. Then that stuff went to the dollar section. This is why you have to have some other way to sell your stuff to make money outside of these platforms. Because they're going to change the game. And if you are not really, if you're just kind of like, oh, I'm here. And you know, you're riding trends. Like everyone's on the frozen thing. Then they shut that down. Then, you know, it was on this thing. Do not be a trend hopper. Do not be a trend rider. Build some of your own shit. I am not riding any trends because... You know, I put the YouTube book out because I do YouTube. I put the Craigslist book out because I did Craigslist. I put the storage auction book out because I did storage auctions. I put the how to sell shit book out because you, you see the <laughs> the trend. You see the parallels there. You see what I'm saying? You see what's going on that I am able to write about this stuff because I did it. As long as you do eBay and Amazon and this other stuff, you're, you know, and like I said, if you do Amazon really well and you do eBay, eBay reels up, really well you can write a book and make money a lot of people are doing that but guess what 
that trend is going to also get hard to do because there's going to be a ton of eBay books out there. It's going to be a ton of Amazon books out there. And I've noticed something. The people who built a following before they wrote a book are making way more money than the folks who just wrote a book and threw that shit up on Amazon. I just told you something there. Hopefully you picked it up. And uh, essentially, that's kind of it. I mean, you can make way more money without this stuff as long as you break the addiction. Once you break the uh, whole thing. And... You know, there's a lot of cool people here on YouTube. You know, I'm not in there hanging out some stuff because they're talking about eBay and Amazon. And I am fundamentally not interested in eBay and Amazon. I am hardcore recommending to my people in the G-verse, to the tribe, my consulting clients, get the fuck off of eBay, get the fuck off of Amazon. <laughs> that is my recommendation. So it would be actually inauthentic <laughs> for me to be on this hangout and everyone's talking about eBay and Amazon. It don't make any sense. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling that. Um, I've done the antique booth. I've done the flea market thing. Not interested in doing those. I'm not really going to talk about those. I mean, they are great ways to get started. They're great ways to make extra cash. But I am not trying to help you make extra cash. I am trying to help you make enough money to live on and pay the bills and put milk in the baby bottle and put dog food in Rover's bowl. I mean, and pay the mortgage and the car note and have some money left over that if you want to go see a movie, you can and you don't have to rob Peter and Paul. That's where I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you away from side money to whole money that, you know, you don't have one stream of income or two, but maybe three streams of income that each one will independently support your lifestyle. That's what I am trying to do. I am not trying to fucking do. I'm not trying to fucking do Amazon because I think they are inherently dangerous. I think the minute that you get really, really dependent on them, then that's when you're going to become scared. That's when you're going to start doing things you normally wouldn't do because I've seen it. It's like, well, as long as you please the eBay gods and as long as you please, fuck them. <laughs> do your, sh your own thing. You know, because if you take Amazon, and once again, like I said, I don't hate Amazon. I hate eBay. I'll be real clear about that. I've had a lot of people like, you do you on eBay, you get kicked off. You had to do some bullshit. Um, Amazon is mature and Amazon's doing some things that's good for Amazon. Once again, I'm a prime member. I buy a lot of stuff. Matter of fact, hey, you know, for those of you who want to, uh, this is called the uh, square jellyfish. It's a cool little device where you can put your phone in, do photo, uh, you can do your photo so you won't have the uh, ubiquitous in the bathroom selfie photo. And you can put it on your desk and take photos, do your, your uh, YouTube videos, all this stuff. Real cool. Got that off Amazon, Prime Shipping, got it like next day. Actually, the next day, and didn't even ask for a second day shipping. So I am with that program as a consumer. And also, you know, if, you, you know, if you're going to do Amazon, I suggest you create some. And I think for all of this stuff, because there's two pieces. I got all of this stuff, right? I think I paid like 41 bucks for it. Um... I know from manufacturing process, this may have cost $5, if that much. <laughs> it might have, if that much. If that much, it may have cost 90 cents. Am I ups upset? No. Because, you know, some of us like, hey, it cost $5. They should have sold it for six or seven and been happy. No, that's not how the game works. And remember, you know, I'll tell you this stuff. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the fucking rules so you can win. So let's take this thing. You, out there in YouTube world, you can make something like this put it together and sell it and you know sell it for 40 you know and this was several pieces because this is modular this comes this part separate and then this is the ball thing separate and the base is separate so I bought actually two because I probably could have got away with 24 bucks just for this guy but I also wanted this guy and instead of getting mad join the club become the guy or the girl that puts this out and that's another where that's another thing that we're going with Hustle of Life University. As I put out in the Hangout yesterday, um, there will be a creator course. There, all this stuff is coming because I'm about creating stuff. I'm about doing that, creating stuff, building stuff, making stuff. I mean, seriously, last few weeks I've been pulling shit off of the side of the road and flipping it on Craigslist, and I'm quite sure that I made a lot more money from that than a lot of you are making on eBay. Yeah, I said that. Finding free shit and flipping them, but see, it was big. I was getting eighty dollars. I was getting a hundred bucks. I was getting two hundred bucks. I was getting, you know, I was getting dollars, not pennies. And there are many people who have have a, a penny mindset. That's like, you know, uh, I can only risk a dollar. 
I mean, I have literally risked two and three grands on units and didn't know what the outcome was going to be. And uh, before you go like, well, you, no, I didn't start off like that. I worked my way up to it. And as long as you keep doing this eBay and Amazon penny any bullshit, you're not going to work your way up to it. What's going to happen is you're going to be here and then eBay and Amazon, they're going to change the game on you, right? Then you're going to go here. Then you're going to go here financially. You're going to be here financially, but guess what? Your work level is going to go up. You're going to have to do way more for less, but oh no, you're still going to be sticking on that stanky titty. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so, mm. it's a little sour. It's dry milk, dry, crusty milk and refuse to get off the titty because like, you know, I'm just, you know, like I said, you'll see these videos again. Uh, I am not recommending eBay. I'm not recommending Amazon. Don't hate Amazon. It's just, I think there's a better way. Is this way harder? Yes. Uh, someone put up in the comment the other day that it is like the worst time in the U.S. to start a business. I vigorously disagree with that. I think it is the worst time in history to start a business with an old school mindset. I think, yeah, that's dangerous. Um, <laughs> yeah, this whole thing about, you know, uh, getting employees, renting space, which I recommend if you're re ready for it. But if you're doing eBay and Amazon, I would not recommend that you rent a 10,000 square foot uh, warehouse like I did. But once again, all our money was not coming from eBay and Amazon. So when it got shut off, we're still able to pay the bills. It was, you know, it hurt. I'm not going to even sit here and go. I was like, it hurt. I mean, it's like you wake up one day and your, your arm's gone. You're going to notice that. That's how it was. But we were able to go on and we had cash flow coming in and we were able to do other things. But understand if you're stuck on this and also let's talk about side money I, I don't really do the side money thing i am more about like i said whole income making your life better uh there was a question in hustle university and it was a fear-based question about what is 30 days to 2500 bucks about okay i i don't have it here i don't actually i do actually i do i do okay now this is lead to fill I'm gonna recommend you go to Amazon and get this. It's you know it's very in inexpensive for what you get. Uh, these are CDs. I had the cassette kits, the uh, cassette course first. This doesn't go ahead and give you step by step instructions on how to run a business, but from this course and listening to it and applying the lessons, because it's about life lessons. That's why you know 20, 30 days, twenty five hundred dollars is about life day lessons, and it also has something that this doesn't have business lessons, business courses, and tasks. Now, this is the thing. I listened to this, and this changed my life. And there was no instructional how-to manual on how to run an eBay business or how to run a contract office furniture business. Or any, There was no instructional manuals in this. But this course, because I listened to it and I applied it to my whole life, I was able to do those things. Many of you are just looking for I'm going to go in here, get this information and have an immediate impact. And that is the shit that's going to hold you up from living your best and full potential in life. You were trying. That's why I did that video, trying to get rich for nothing. People are trying to get the most money, the most whatever, the most benefit for little or fucking nothing. And the shit doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Once again, Uncle Lou from Poughkeepsie. He did that shit. But what you didn't know was he married that rich chick from the fine family. And that's why he got the roles. But he told you that story and you believed it. You're not going to get rich for nothing. It's not going to happen. It's a pipe dream. Uh, a lot of these guys who are making money on the Internet. So some of them have been working for 10, 15, 12 years. And, you know, when you go to the backstory and you go to the Wayback Time Machine and you look at their old websites, you're like, oh, what the fuck? What a clusterfuck that was. And that's where they started. And everyone's like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get that money. I'm trying to get paid. I'm not trying to get too ashy. I'm not trying to get dirty, blah, blah, blah. Boo fucking who. You start being a little weak little bitch. If you want to go out and get it. If you fall down, you get the fuck back up. You know, all of this whole. <sighs> I went out and tried and it failed. So. What? <laughs> so what? So my courses, once again, are like this with the extra benefit of adding some business tasks that, and like I said, that, that, that changed my life. And it didn't tell me how to, it, it gave me the courage to get started. And it gave me some parameters on how to handle situations. That's all it did. I mean, okay, 
Um, this cost me like 98, 99 bucks with tax, like $114, right? I would say that that $114 investment in this has matriculated into, or will matriculate into millions. Actually, it already has when I think about the gross sales. And when you look at that, and also, once again, let me you know put it up there because everyone's like, he took he didn't hold it up long enough. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. It's not moving it so fast. This is what enabled me revisiting this in 2009 to start the publishing company. It's called Lead the Field, not How to Start a Publishing Company. But I listened to this, I applied the principles, and that's how I started a publishing company. Let me just say something about 30 days to 2500 because one of the biggest problems is it's expensive. And it's not expensive in terms of money. If you're asking to go to Florida for a weekend just to get drunk and you're going to spend 500 bucks just to do that. Even if you drive, you're going to spend three to 400 bucks. If you fly, you're going to spend five to $800 for two or three days to get drunk and wear clothes and look at folks. And But if spending three ninety nine dollars for a course that can literally change your life is too expensive for you. Let me tell you why it's too expensive. It's not the money. You can get all the money in the world for the most bullshit you want. That's not the problem. Uh, it gets expensive because it's going to require that you apply yourself. It's going to require that you commit, have a commitment. It's going to require that you go through the course and do all the steps. That's the expensive part. It's not the money and that's the deal. Now, for some people, it is the money. For most people, it's not. If you have bought a purse, a pair of shoes, some bullshit, uh, uh, something like a vacation, something like a concert ticket, or something like a football game that once you go, the event's done, and you spend a few hundred bucks, yet you're sitting there like, oh, that $114 is too much. Oh, the 299 the 300 bucks for the 30 days. No, you're full of bullshit. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. It's not the money. It's you know your weak ass is not going to do it. And that's the truth. And I think to a degree that's cool because you know you. You know that you're not going to put out. You know that you are incapable of actually being as successful as you want to because you're lazy, scared, something. There, there's one of those things. And that's one of the things because, once again, I have made my living as a salesperson. When I hear objections... And this is one of the things they teach you is, all right, why is that objection there? You know, they'll teach you, well, what potential objections are going to come up so you can be ready? When I hear, oh, it's the money, I already know what the problem is. Oh, it's like, I ain't that good. Oh, I don't, or, you know, I don't think your shit's that good. I mean, it may be me. It's like, I don't think your shit's that good. And I have learned, and this is something that if you're going to be a hustler, you're going to be out here, that price is not as important as perception of value. Let me say that again. Price is not as important as perception and value. Go on the highway. You're going to see a Porsche. You're going to see you're going to see hundred thousand dollar cars. You're going to see two hundred. They don't get you the point A to point B any better than that uh, Fiat thing. That's the the little Fiat cars that they're running the commercials twenty four seven. Big difference in price, but it's not in perceived value. You go out. You see a guy somewhere and he gets out of a Ferrari, you automatically assign some perceived value to him based on that car. You do. Even if you go, what a douchebag. Oh, who does he? You're assigning perceived value to this guy instantly. And that's why people do those things because they know that it will increase their perceived value whether it's worth it or not. You, that's why people rent cars and perpetrate frauds and shit. This shit cracks me up. But Essentially, if you want to really, really build your business, uh, you want to do more, you're going to have to cut that addiction out. I mean, you're going to have to stop strapping up and shooting up. You're just going to have to. And the sooner you do it, the better, because I know a lot of people <clears throat> in uh, the last year, because, you know, this was August when I did that eBay video about the culling. Yeah, shit. Yeah, it's 11 months. A lot of people have been hurt in the last 11 months. A lot of people. And like I was telling Jake from State Farm on the Hangout yesterday, I'm mad glad I didn't click on his camera and that's why he didn't come in the room. Um, the summer is the time to stack up because, you know, it's like a slow six weeks. All this is going to start changing and you're going to start running out of inventory. But once again, that's what happens when you're addicted to eBay and Amazon and you're not out here trying to build your own shit. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side. 
if you want to improve your mindset, make sure you get that free audio book. It'll be somewhere around here. Also, join Hustling University, and I'm going to put up some other stuff for you. And it depending on when this thing gets developed, uh, you can go ahead and get the 50 Laws of Hustling. That shit's going to be very, very different. <laughs> very, very different. Trust me on this. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. I'll see you on the good side.